guys, welcome to Nerdbytes, and this is going to be what I thought the second trailer for Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Yes, so not only did we get the full official poster of Rogue One, which looks awesome, we got the second trailer, and again, it's just more awesome Star Wars stuff, and it, I'm getting so excited for this film in December now. With this, we get a little bit more explanation of the potential what the story is going to be about. Uh, Mac Mickelson, Mac Mickelson, or Mads Mickelson, I can't say his fucking name. Him. It's, he is Jin's father, and it's, it's pretty cool the way that it works, that it looks like at the start of the trailer he's he's going to die by, the, by that Imperial guy, and then later on you find that he's potentially alive, and then you find that he is alive, and that he had a real crucial part in the building of the Death Star, potentially against his will by the look of the way this trailer is built and the, the expressions on his face. I, I reckon he was forced to do so, and again, it builds up this character of Jin uh, really, really well, and... Uh, it elaborates it enough, but not too much that it wrecks the story, and it, it intrigues me. Again, the trailer is showing extreme scope and scale with this film. One of the best bits, obviously, when you pan up from the ground and you can see a massive Star Destroyer with TIE Fighters going over with the sound of the TIE Fighter, which is creepy enough anyway. Just of how much everyone is under the thumb of the Empire, and it's just, and it looks awesome. Another epic shot as well with the Death Star coming up through the clouds. Again, awesome. We get a few more shots of ground battles as well, and we also get our first shot of another space battle. Yes, we get a space battle in this one. Uh, those of X-Wings and TIE Fighters and that kind of stuff, and I don't know whether it is the Death Star that they're on, I'm not too sure. I, I can't imagine it would overlap into A New Hope. I think it is two years before it, as far as I know, so I don't think it's going to overlap into that. But it gives you a kind of a taste of what you would eventually see in A New Hope, and it's cool, it looks awesome, the sounds are great, the epicness of it, and again, it's just it reeks awesomeness of Star Wars. One thing I want to say about Jin's character as well, she's she's quite the motivational speaker. There's at least a couple of speeches in here where she's really motivating her team and getting them to go after what they need to go after, which is, you know, the Death Star plans out. Obviously now we know her father as well. So she's got a personal vendetta against it. And this is kind of like blowing out the water what I thought of before, because I thought potentially she could be a double agent. She'll end up being a bad one, because I thought it would be an amazing twist. But the way this is going with her father and everything, I don't think that's going to be the case. But still, the fact that he's had a hand in the Death Star is an awesome twist in itself. Vader just walking through that kind of misty cloud just out and oh god it's like it's just that tiny shot and it's still oh so epic so epic I love Vader I can't wait to see more of him now the very next shot is um, Mamrixel's character looking up as he's in pain and it, it's led to believe that it looks like Vader might kill him now I don't know whether that's going to be the truth but I'd like to see that be the case actually. I think it would be a really good arc to one, show Vader's ruthlessness and uncaring of anybody else, and two, it would be a real good arc for Jin's character who could see her father die by the hand of Vader and want to see Vader vanquished as well. So yeah, I think that would add a really cool layer. In the final shot, you've just got more battles and everything, people running on the ground, then you just see the Atat's foot just hit the ground, and again, it's really good at showing you in the battle. It makes you feel like you're in the battle itself, the way they've done the camera angles and everything really just really cool and then the title comes up and that's the end of the trailer awesome trailer overall guys i think it was a really really good one i'm looking forward to seeing the final one before we uh, get the film in december um also one thing i will say the music again it's kind of drifting away from the john williams it's still got those kind of accents in there which is good and we need that because it is a star wars film but i love the way the music's going it's making it more epic and it fits into just like I said, the scope of the film and the way they put it together. It works so well, and I'm really looking forward to hearing that soundtrack in full. So that's what I thought of uh, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story Trailer 2. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me in the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbytes anywhere, and I'm sure you'll find me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.